Naga Pratishta is not about creating another new god. We need to understand this. Naga Pratishta is about creating a new excess to what is beyond your perception right now. Naga represents heightened levels of perception and Naga Pratishta is towards that so that people can use Naga as a key, as a point of access to deeper aspects or dimensions of life. In this effort, many things have been done. The forms of sacred serpents have been consecrated in the past and still existing. delve into profound nature of the existence. Can't I do it without Naga? Yes, you can, but how many will do it? That's a question. How many would travel a thousand kilometers without an automobile? How many would be able to fly from one place to another without an airplane? So, without creating instruments of access, most human beings will not be able to access then why are we folding our hands and bowing down? You must understand this, anything that you use for your well-being, you must address it in a certain way. If you take a musician, he will treat his instruments in such a way that he bows down before he uses it. If you watch a farmer, he bows down to the land upon which he works because it produces food for him and he understands it's his life. We bow down to the very food that we eat because we understand it's the basis of our life. If you do not have a certain sense of devotion, then you do not have the needed focus to access. So, do not misunderstand devotion or the power of devotion as simply uh, idolatry or idol worship. This is not about idolatry or idol worship, this is about generating the necessary focus. Tell me, are you capable of keeping your mind absolutely focused on something if you are not emotionally hooked onto it? So, without that, there is no focus, without focus, there is no access. Naga has always been the mystical access to the profoundness of our own existence and the secrets of the universe.